Oh yeah, Diamond is Lawyer guys back again with another video. We are gonna be doing a timeless Tim reaction when your girlfriend's a thought. Uh y'all already know. Oh my gosh. Let's get into it, guys. So I get to the locker room and find the room filled with kids ready for the beat. Damn, I guess word around school was true. Buddy's trying to snuff the kid. Damn, Tim, you really should. You ready, kid? I don't know, <laughs> but I know I ain't no punk. Let's he nervous. Play. Lord, please don't let this fool fold, my man. T H O T. Die. The last words any man was to. Any girl on the pole. It's any girl on the pole, I guess, to Tim, it's a thought, you know. But hey, they got their reasons why they be on poles. To hear about their girl. See, thoughtish behavior describes a woman who has a great deal of bodies, a.k.a. a guardian to. But the question is, how many bodies does one have to encounter before being considered a thought? So, my guy, I'm going to ask you, how many bodies are too many for you? Are we talking 5, 10, 20, 30? Nah, if you're I'm talking 8 at the least. That's that's just me, though. Above 30? Ooh! Let's say the Lord's Prayer. But I know what you're thinking. Damn, Tim. What happened to the good old days? The days of people having to wait until marriage. The days of practicing abstinence. That's all ancient. We're living in times where if you're still holding your weak card, you're considered a bird. Corny, a.k.a. man's can't give. So that leaves the question, can men be thoughts? Well, let's tackle the continued existence of sex. Yeah, just like women could be thoughts, men could be thoughts too. That's that's just that's just what I'm saying. Sexual double standard in society. See, according to the rules, men can have as many encounters as they want and be called experienced players, city boys. But on the other end, if for sure it gets more than five bodies, short is off. Ah, you know the saying, a key that can open all locks is considered a master key. But a lock that can be opened by any key. Oh, no, no, no. That's a shitty lock. Now, in theory, biologically speaking, that is, it only takes 30 men to impregnate all the women in the world. Meaning, by nature, 30 men to impregnate all the women in the world? Men are thoughts. And that, my God, is where this story begins. So, for this story, I'm going to take you back. Back to my high school i'm gonna take you back back to my high school years i gotta repeat that y'all school years she was my third year in high school now by your junior year you're that seasoned vet odds are you know how to back shorties you got that swag only thing left for most kids is to lose that card all right tim it's junior year kid time you become a man damn you don't end up being the only kid without getting some yo tim check this out dog i got a date with lisa oh word yeah, so you're thinking about, you know, what? You know, I'm getting that. You getting any? Who, me? He said, you know, I'm getting that. <laughs> Come on, homie. You know, I'm that guy. Now, trust me, I'm not that guy. So I get the fourth period, which was gym class. Now, ladies, here's a little gem. See, in locker rooms, all boys talk about is girls. Now, word around school was, Rose was a thotty. Yo, is it true what they say about Rose? Thoughts do pose like that in, in outfits like that to be posting on social media. That's a thought. Fam, shorty's out here, kid. Oh, wow. She been passed around crazy. See, here's the problem. A few days earlier, I was vibing with my girl Rose. And to be honest, I didn't get that vibe. Shorty was real cool. But now I'm in a dilemma. Do I let her reputation change my perception? Or should I get to know her for myself? So onward. And I feel like he should get to know her for himself because anybody could be saying anything you don't know if it's just some rumor that isn't true you know it's always good to see it for yourself and i meet rose at the gym class hey rose i got something to ask you sure so is it true is what true you know what they're saying around school what are they saying around school well um see what is it tim so my guy, what do I do? Should I tell Shorty what the boys are saying in the locker room? I mean, this is breaking bro code 101. Or should I keep it to myself? You know what, Rose? You should keep it to yourself and just get to know her. That's what I say. Never mind. Now, come on, fam. I didn't want my first to be a thotty. Your first is supposed to be someone special. Someone you can treasure this moment with for the rest of your life. So I get to the crib and get a call from Rose. Hello? Well, word around school is you're, you know, easy. What? Then baby girl hung up the phone. Damn, I 
guess she took that hard. So the next day, I get to gym class and word around school was Jake, Rose's ex-boyfriend, was going to put hands on me. See, Rose had just put Jake what? on Oh, here you go again. Blast for lying about her body. Now, I don't know what happened between the two. All I knew was, Nance was walking around spreading rumors that Rose was easy. You gotta remember, this is high school, my guy. Rumors spread around like roaches. Now, word got around school that I'm about to get the beats. So I get to the locker room and find the room filled with kids ready for the beats. Damn, I guess word around school was true. Buddy's trying to snuff the kid. Damn, Tim, you really should. You ready, kid? I don't know, but I know I ain't no punk. Let's say a prayer. Lord, please don't let this fool fold, my man. I can't be seen with him if he loses. What? I thought you were my homie. See. So Jake puts his bag down and, of course, has some words for me. Yeah, little bitch. I'm gonna beat your. Did oh Tim really do that? Did Tim really do that? Like I always say, never let your opponent get the first move. You, my guy, must initiate the combat. Damn, Tim. You really socked him good. Oh, damn. I didn't really mean to hit him that hard. Now comes the worst part of fighting. See, as you know, word got around school that there was a fight in the locker room. And the teacher had found out all Suspension of... Suspension? What, he gets suspended? About it. All right, boys. Break it up. Both of you to the principal's office. So we get to the office, and the principal made it clear. Since I was technically defending myself, I got a three-day suspension. And oh my guy, Jake, got a seven-day suspension since he was the initiator. Now on to after school. And as you can guess, the only thing left for me was to inform my dad that I've been suspended yet again. So I decided the best solution was to tell my dad my side of the story as soon as he gets home before the school principal calls. Hey, Dad, how's it going? Oh, not great, son. Been a rough day. Uh, uh, his dad already had a rough day, so <laughs> this going to make him even more mad. Best move. Man's going to kill me if he finds out about me getting suspended. But I decided to go for it. Dad, see, I got... Psych! Hell no. I wasn't telling my dad I'd been suspended. So while my dad was downstairs, I got to his room, unhooked the house phone, and went on with my day. Ain't no way I'm letting this man find out. He gonna find out one week later. Ah, he gonna get he gonna, he getting it in the mail. Hmm, a letter from Tim's school. Wonder what that's about. Dear parent, we are writing you to inform you that your child Tim has been suspended for three days. What? No! Uh oh. So, moral of the story, never let one's perception determine who you are. Well, that's crazy. Tim about to get it. But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos. I'm out.